opening guard. But thank you, Alderman um, Carter. We'll go to Alderman Lopez and Tyler Carroll and Thompson. Alderman Lopez. Thank you. You know, before we started this, we have, we're having a conversation about what's going on in our neighborhoods, and it's heart-wrenching, gut-wrenching, but this is what I was trying to get at this morning, is that when downtown is in lockdown, our neighborhoods are next, and our failure to fully get ready for what's going on in the neighborhoods, we're seeing this destruction, and we're thinking that it's gonna somehow end tonight. We have seen where in other cities this has gone on for days. And we need to come up with a better plan for days, at least for the next five days, to try and stabilize our communities. Right now, Mayor Back in the Yards has in Brighton Park, from Halstead almost all the way through to Kedzie, <clears throat> along 47th Street, has been a virtual war zone. Ashland Avenue, which borders between me and Alderman Taylor, has had 400 people in four lanes of traffic almost for an hour. And we can't expect our police, and I don't fault them at all, to be able to control this. But I know that we asked our faith base yesterday to stand at the front line between police and looters and rioters. And I am simply not comfortable telling my churches, those people, to be the intermediary in the middle of a riot that's citywide. We need something better because right now we only have 370 whatever National Guards on standby. Half our neighborhoods are already obliterated. It's too late. We have to come up with a better plan because once, my fear is, once we're, they're done looting and rioting and whatever's gonna happen tonight, God help us, what happens when they start going after residents, going into the neighborhoods? Once they start trying to break down people's doors so they think they got something, or, you know, we know that people are here to antagonize and incite, and you've got them all pumped tonight, today, they're not gonna go to bed at eight o'clock. They're gonna turn their focus in the neighborhoods. I've got gangbangers with AK-47s walking around right now, just waiting to settle some scores. What are we gonna do and what do we tell our residents other than good faith people stand up? It's not gonna be enough. Thank you, Alderman. Next question. Well, no, I want an answer. I bet you commented on everybody. I want an answer. It's not something you ignore. This is a question that I have. I think you're 100% full of shit is what I think. If you think oh, we no want offense, to fuck you then. Who are you to tell me I'm full ready. of shit? And if you think, if you think that we were not ready and we stood by and let the neighborhood go up, there's nothing intelligent that I can say to you. Well, it's maybe you should come out and see what's going on. the stupidest thing I have ever heard. I understand you want to pray. I understand that you think that you Mayor, you need to check you. your fucking attitude. Yeah, That's what you need to do. Right now, no. You need to check your attitude. Wait a minute. I'm being disrespectful. You told me I'm full of shit. We, we, we. No. You you cannot tell me I'm full of shit. Everybody, everybody, come on, let's calm down. Come on, come on, now. Let's calm down. You said, wait a minute. Okay. Wait a minute. Ray, cut it off, please. Uh, yeah, calm down, please. Ray, come on. Wait, wait a minute. Calm down. My neighborhood. Please calm down. Yeah, come on. Thank you. Thank you. Right now, we need solutions. So people need solutions. Let's let's step up. Let's step up. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. All hands on deck right now. Right. All right. right. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's move on. But we recognize that we're going to have to the devastation in your neighborhood and is not being taken lightly at all. Apparently not. Alderman Kelly Farrell. My question is, uh, I'm sorry Sam, I should have lowered my hand. My question's been answered. I wanted to know uh, what were the resources, uh, outside resources uh, that we have currently deployed uh, outside of the Chicago Police Department 